Prince William, should I really impersonate Charles? Calls for Prince William to be the next monarch have been ringing for years. As the Duke enters middle age, Emma Mackenzie explores whether he should be next in line for the throne. Now that Queen Elizabeth II has died and her son Charles III is king, the same old question remains, why do so many people prefer the idea of William assuming the throne over his father? In polls conducted by Ipsos earlier this year, 42% of respondents thought Prince Charles should step aside and allow his son to become the next monarch. This result was highest in the youngest age group, and decreased to 34% in the oldest age group. With almost half of those surveyed believing that Charles will do a good job as monarch, the desire to see William take the throne in his place remains surprisingly high. Perhaps it is due to the ease of William's manner that his father does not always seem to possess. Delivering their respective speeches at the palace party over the Jubilee weekend, the contrast was stark. William displayed the signs of a natural speaker confident and with an instinctive rhythm that left room for audience reactions. Charles, on the other hand, faltered a bit more, and his speech, while well received, didn't go as smoothly. Dot during his engagements, the Duke of Cambridge comes across as incredibly likable, his recent job selling the big issue on the streets of London is a great example of this. His likability is a trait he shares with both his brother, Prince Harry, and his late mother, Diana. Diana's ability to genuinely connect with people and go on a charm offensive certainly made her incredibly beloved among the public. It seems some of that popularity rubbed off on William. He has been more open about how much he misses her mother in recent years, and in his recent interview with A Big Issue. He explained the inspiration she represents in her philanthropic work. This kind of directness only makes him more beloved by the public. In some ways, he possesses the best traits of his parents, he inherited Charles' seriousness and dedication and Diana's sympathy and personal style. Arguably, his marriage is also important to those who would prefer him to take the throne instead of Charles. He has created a feeling of consistency and firmness reminiscent of the Queen and Prince Philip. William and Kate, after meeting at the University of St. Andrews, enjoyed what was, in many ways, a relatively normal relationship. Despite the spotlight under which they took place, many of the important moments they experienced were very similar to those of many other couples across the country. While Charles and Diana's marriage was marred by scandal and infidelity, William and Kate's has provided a stable and fixed backdrop for William to take on more and more royal duties.